lounge and sun. All right, welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name's Ryan, and back with me again is my always amazing co-host Manny. And today What's we're up, gonna, guys? we're going to be talking about Hulk Grand Design. But we both decided that we didn't want to just talk about it; we wanted to show it off as well. I haven't done one of these in a while. This one is just it's something to behold. So I I, I had to we had to get it under the camera, dude. Like I know that I know the KFAB channel did it, but. I want I wanted to do one too with with you, dude. So super so yeah, through this. Dude. Just the cover alone, like every time I I go into the shop since it's come out and it's just sitting there, it like calls it like calls to you, you know. Even though I already own it, you know, like it almost makes me. I'm like I my eye keeps gravitating towards it. Which yeah, is it's so it's clean just... and bright, you know. Yeah, and like what a what a great idea to just have that huge image. I mean, it, it it's gonna stand out from pretty much anything that's around it. So like you're you're right. As soon as if you look at a wall and it's up up there, your eyes go right to it. Yeah, well, the way we have ours too is like at my shop, you open the front door, and right when you walk in, we have this table that has it's like tiered kind of right, and like that's where we have all the new graphic novels. So right when you walk in. The first thing, at least for right now, while we still have copies, the first thing you see, like that catches your eye, is this. So that's what you're met with when you open the door. That's awesome. Yeah, rereading this again just solidified it. I think I already said it. I've said it online. I've said it to you. I've said it to anybody I talk to. This is my favorite grand design book, and that in no way is throwing shade against Ed Piscor, who started this grand design stuff with X Men, or Tom Scioli, who did his thing on fantastic four i love both of them i know we're, i know we're gonna do episodes on those as well um but this one just blew me away and so much so that reading this i eli and i hung out the other day and we went to we went we we're gonna go dollar bin diving and i was like i'm just gonna get some hulks because i i don't want to spend like a ton of money like i've been spending too much money on comics but yeah there was no hulk so we were going through back issues and i just I didn't even care what they were. I'm just like, okay, if this cover looks dope, I'm just going to pick it up. So I picked up like four random issues of, of Hulk and it was all because I couldn't get Hulk out of my mind, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I got you, bro. Yeah. Let's fucking get into this, dude. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't want to like fucking ruin the glue on this, but I even love how, you know, right off the top, like we have the covers to Monster and Madness. We get just the the inks and pencils here. So it's almost like it's almost like artist edition style. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you can yeah. see the brush stroke, the the ink and all that. But yeah, it looks like almost like Sharpie or marker. You can see the you can like you said, you can see the hatching on it, you know, especially in like the thick lines on the jaws. Like the jawline. Yeah. You can see the marker, like the the marker texture. Yeah, I really I don't know why, but I really love his signature too. Yeah, it's like it's simple. I, I just there's certain signatures that I just for some reason I'm like oh I dig that you know like Liefeld's chisel I love Frank yeah. Rosetta's signature I think that might be my Same. favorite I like McFarland's also yeah yeah McFarland's and and like we've said dude right like he is he's all about design so like every single page you flip to you can't just like dismiss it you have like there's something to look at like just even so much as like starting with all the whole covers in the background and obviously yeah. like this isn't going to show every single cover but it does have i believe that two third goes up to 213 so i think he said it right he goes through like 500 issues of hulk i believe yes yeah he so, he goes just uh just to about like world war hulk and planet hulk like that timeline i think that, that time period yeah and you were saying about how it's nicely designed. It's like it almost, it almost makes like the grand design to title have like two meanings now, especially with this one. You know, like oh yeah, dude, for sure. Yeah, I didn't also I didn't like think a, about that. And I don't know where this Hulk one comic was. Like this is photographed from something, but it's fo it's from like the like such a clean looking copy of this incredible Hulk. Yeah, one, you yeah, you're right. Like, it is photographed because you could tell it's it, lifting it might off. Be the, like, he got access to i mean he he had said i think uh in some interview or in and the various ones he did when he was promoting the book that like he had to pull from different resources to be able to read all of them like he bought some i think marvel supplied him with some and like some he borrowed i guess like the real older ones yeah i know and then whatever he couldn't find he read digitally but i love that his go-to yeah. was to just 
find the physical copies. Because I'll tell you what, dude. I talked to him before it dropped, I believe. And yeah, I did too. Before issue one came, before the, the first one came out, I scooped up so much Hulk. Like I have almost all of Peter David's run minus like the most of the McFarlane stuff. Like I have a few, but those are the more expensive ones. But I have so, so like that whole Pantheon stuff I, I bought and read. I'm not saying I'm like a huge fan of it. But, you know, some of the stuff that was that preceded it, dude, like I I just went on the biggest Hulk binge. I think I bought like 60 issues, si- single issues of Hulk, you know, like just like not to prepare, but like I'm like, you know what? Like I like the character. I just I never really read a lot of Hulk, you know, like and this kind of inspired me to. And there is a lot of good stuff. You know, I got the John Byrne stuff that he did. I think he did like a six issue run or something. Um, but yeah, yeah. Dude, just I like would, I would- I remember personally, I was reading the Pantheon stuff when it was coming out on the newsstands because I, I, it was, just, I don't know if I remember if I liked it so much as I wanted comics to read. So I was like, why the hell not? But I was yeah. a kid. No, I mean, look, I, like I said, like I, I probably had sporadic issues. Yeah, I don't same. think I was, I don't think I was buying Hulk until it had to be when Bruce, do you remember when Bruce Jones was writing? Yes, dude. I remember where, like, that, that was a, a strange period for Marvel where, where uh, they're, uh, you know, bringing either a writer, like, brand new writers to a lot of the main titles. And, like, he's someone that had, I guess, really not been in the spotlight for a while, but he's old school, you know? Mm-hmm. And he did, like, a kind of like a horror. He, he kind of did a little bit of a horror thing going on, you know? I don't yeah, remember. It was, it was very, like, slow burn because I remember that, like, it took a while for the Hulk to even appear. Yeah, the Bruce Jones stuff is, um, I remember really digging it. I feel like I'm missing, I thought I picked it up from the beginning because it was under the Marvel Knights imprint. So I I, I think yeah. at that point I would pick up titles based on that. And then John Romita Jr., who I love, was drawing the book too. Um, that's something that a lot of people don't talk about either that would be kind of cool to kind of go back and read and, and discuss with you. Yeah, I haven't read it since its original like release. Yeah, I'd have to pick up some of the issues I'm missing because I know I have most of it, but I feel like I'm I, I was looking through my collection not that long ago and I was like looking for stuff to get rid of. And um I'm definitely missing gaps. But anyways, um there, you know, like so talking about like the, the design too is like him using this like t-shirt ad, right? Like throughout the book, like yeah, mostly yeah. towards the end is where you'll see this these random images that obviously are callbacks to stuff he remembers, right? I mean, he talks about it in the back which which i really dig too i'm gonna just do that real quick so in the back matter he the the notes and credits for all the additional hulk art and reprint stuff i love that that he breaks it down and tells you exactly where it came from you know like that t-shirt thing was an was an advert oh it was an advertisement for a hulk sweatshirt that marvel sold in the 60s so just like these random images that he see that he saw while he was going through you know yeah that, that stood to, out Right, and decided to throw in the book. Here we go. I, lo- I love seeing all his different versions of the Hulk. I can't remember. I know he said this, and I'm I'm really pissed. I can't remember. Uh, I know that's the Jack Kirby in the corner, obviously. I feel like that's Herb Trimpey in that corner. And then this is Buscema in the bottom right. Yep. Okay, is that Severin in the left? With the rhino and stuff? No, no, no. The, the, the circle of Hulk. Oh, down there. Oh, yeah. yeah I could. I feel like yeah. that's Severin. I, I mean, I hope I'm not wrong. I, I maybe if he, I mean, I don't know if he'll watch this video, but if somebody, if somebody's watching and knows, like, please put it down in the comments because I can't remember. I know that he had mentioned this long before when he was talking about it, but I, do, I just love every little thing that he adds to it, like just on this page with the corner boxes and the transformation. Yeah, and like, like, yeah, the transformation and the dropping of the vials and stuff. Yeah, like, I... and then just seeing him like all these like scenes throughout because like he is doing he's completely doing his own thing he's not just doing like okay like i'm gonna do like what ed did right like it's all his own and then the variant covers that he had the peach momoko yeah the peach momoko ed piscor Piscor. killed it on this dude killed it and then obviously you got the that's lee weeks yeah lee weeks yeah and then this was always one of my favorite pages just the way he starts it off it's such a simple image, but the power behind it, just the way that that glows off the page, 
Yeah, I love the hatching on the on the silhouette too. Yeah. If you look closely, like on the on the edges of the flapping. Yeah, right here. There. I just, just love I, I love I love when I love seeing Jim's art uh, reproduced at this size, and uh, because he's someone that uses so many different tools that like his his work always has a, a multi textured work and it's nice to be able to see that here you know like to me that's part of the the enjoyment of his art is that you really do feel a texture when you're reading it yeah what i'd love to see is like i i don't want i kind of don't want them combined but i wouldn't even mind them doing like a grand design with just an artist edition of like all of them like they right. each three like Tom and Ed and Jim all pay. like selections from them, you know. Yeah, not the entire book, but just certain pages, you know. And you know, like he doesn't even like he tells the origin of Hulk literally in one image on page one, and then we already go in to where Hulk is now, like in the room, and he had he's about to transform. I love this particular panel, like the sound, the click, 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 all that sound going yeah. on. And he's just like losing it. Yeah, I was gonna say the lettering in this book is like phenomenal up to the entire thing. Oh, dude! I mean, he it's, is like yeah, the way he does. It on that yeah, uh -huh. everything, dude. I mean, we've talked about this chameleon, dude. Like the way he yeah, like, yeah, he emulates and styles. Like, one thing I, like I love, I love about this book as well is that like the other uh, again, we're not throwing shade at at uh at any of the other grand designs because like I think they're all phenomenal works and like <laughs> like you know something that is definitely a must own. But I like uh what what I like about this one is how um. It doesn't really have like a rigid like panel structure like the other two sort of have to an extent and not so much but uh but she always did but that's part of his process you know that's that's why his works but like this is a good showcase for jim's type of art because like you said he's sort he's such a chameleon and i mean that in a good way because he's able to sort of create different styles different techniques from page to page but like he's still using those techniques to create a narrative because like you said he told me it Hulk origin in one in one panel, uh, and he does that kind of brilliant storytelling throughout the whole book, you know, with different yeah. techniques. It's just great. Well, that's you don't know what you're going to get when you turn the page in this book. Sometimes, like it could just jump to something totally different, mm -hmm. but the story still is still being told. Yeah, and I, I love his choices too because it's not like a a normal narrative, right? Like obviously, each one of them did something different. Ed's yes. was different in the sense that like his first volume was really making a cohesive continuity with an otherwise yeah. jumbled continuity of the early X-Men, right? Then he gets to the stuff where like when Claremont takes over, there is like a more cohesiveness, there is more of a narrative, like where it didn't really exist because X-Men at one point like was just reprints for a lot of yeah. time, right? Like it wasn't selling. But like Hulk doesn't necessarily need that. Fantastic Four didn't necessarily need that. So they they just put their own spin on it, right? Like yeah like tom consolidated like uh, i forget where it ends but like you know he loops back around right like in terms of like time travel and stuff like the past and the future yeah and, but his are like all like those little panels like i mean he just puts so much into it right and then like jim does his own thing by like certain like certain stories or certain uh battles like are just like he mentions like them by name like okay then hulk fought this 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 you know and and sent and in terms of like pushing the story past some of that where he's just like fighting specific characters i have to say this though i really love this page i love the way he did the panels here yeah like that and i love this image of hulk that's like one of my favorite uh panels in the entire book yeah, I love that one too. I love the helicopters and like all the the the, the top panel there too. And then the this, next like, page is amazing too. I is, really love the uh, the Bam panel with the stop hitting Hulk, like the yellow and red one there in the oh, bottom yeah. left. Well, and then I love this. Like this is fantastic for uh, number twelve, right? Like Hulk and Thing meet all in. It's all done in three panels. That that entire yeah. issue that he's talking about, and I love that he how he recreates some of the covers and yes. they almost look like almost look like he scanned it and then like you know what i mean but he didn't he i have to double check when i look at the image i'm like did he scan it i'm like no he wouldn't do that he drew that you know yeah, like, yeah. and then the i love this one too like the the meeting with the avengers too or yeah notice how that page like the mask head almost has like a comic strip like you know like vibe to it yeah page there's some great page. work on this page too like very psychedelic coloring on this one the coloring dude is 
is like one of the main main draws for me too. Like the way he colored it, the way it, like look, we have like the old newsprint looking color on this page, yeah. but on this page back here, it's all yellow. Yes, you know, and like yes. he's, and then even like so much as that, where he'll have like a colored panel, complete black and white, and then it's just yeah. two colors: yellow, black, yellow, black, white. Like throughout the book, it's like that, and I just. Yeah, I really dig the stuff with like the leaders. I love this right here. I like the the yes. effect. I love the drawing of the leader too. Like that one last panel where he's smiling. Like he really captures sort of like like the 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 shit eating grin. That's the like a perfect the, shit eating yeah. grin. You know? The douchiness of the leader is yeah, completely yeah, yeah. evident it's, it's in that perfect. panel. Like in the eyes and in the smile, you know, like the the choice of the of the tight close up. Mm -hmm. Really good. Like I said, really great storytelling. Oh yeah, dude. And this but again, all the, like the, all the grand, like you said, all the grand designs really excel at that. At, at being able to tell, bridge all these like like comics together to tell like a pretty, like a really good narrative. You know, that's Marvel needs to do more of these grand designs. <laughs> yeah, I I uh, I want Fife to do one, and I'm kind of oh. I'm kind of down for that Ben Mara one doing Punisher, like you said. Yeah, when I like, when I posted that, yeah, I, I yeah. just was sitting there last night and I thought of that. I'm like, dude, that would be awesome. I know. I'm trying to think of like who else and like what other characters. You know, like I would really love to see somebody do like a Doctor Strange, but I don't know who I'd want. But when you said yeah. Ben Mara on Punisher, it just like all of these images started popping up in my head of what he would do. And I was like, dude, I'm down for Cause this. Cause I, like, yeah. Because Ben Mara could like, obviously like he does super violent like stuff, right? But like Punisher in his beginning isn't. But then when you get to like the max years, like then he could just completely go fucking balls out, you know? But anyways, uh, back to Hulk. Like I love this back particular panel, like with the way he's like, the, just the power in that and the close up. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar to the the end page, the front end pages, you know, right, the right. covers of the of the comic. And I love, I I just love the fight scenes in here, dude. They just they. Well, a lot of them have like a wrestling vibe to them, which is you know, yeah. like you know, Jim, Jim's a big wrestling fan, so and the the Hulk again, like I I see the you know, the Hulk himself is almost like a fucking wrestler, like you know, like. I love the Silver Surfer pages too. Those are those dude, are a couple. Yeah, of them. I was about to say I love I love. Uh, I love Jim's rendition of the Silver Surfer. I love Silver, the color Silver Surfer should get a grand design too. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I feel this like one. Daniel Warren Johnson would be a good choice for one. Yeah, he'd be good. I agree. I, I, I'll, I'll second that. Yeah, I like. I like this uh, one, dude. I like how they dude, all look yes. like stickers. Yes, because those were like those stickers that you could order like back in the day. I, I remember, you know. And then this, you know, just like a new Hulk. <laughs> Hulk holding the newspaper? What the fuck is the Hulk? Or is that? Oh, no, that's the leader. I'm sorry. Sorry. The leader is holding the newspaper. Yeah. And I love this. Uh, I love the panels of like the Fantastic Four. Here's the Hulk. And that's something that yeah. I didn't realize. Like, obviously, like, I, I know that Banner was always trying to cure himself. But to actually read it in here of how many times and how many times it failed and them getting separated, you know, and they're two different people. Yeah. And how, like, at the end, like, they kind of just like they need each other. They can't be separate. They need to be one person. They need to they one can't exist without the other. It's kind of like what I took um reading through this again, you know? Because I, I don't know a lot of the Hulk stuff. I definitely haven't read a lot of the older Hulk stories, but this if this book does one thing and it's like it makes people want to go back and read some of the old stuff, I think that that's also really cool. You know, like you're not just reading this for the experience, but it also and I don't know if that was Jim's like intention, but he's he made me more of a Hulk fan from this book. Oh yeah, I mean, I, like I've always loved the Hulk more as a character than than actually reading the comic books. But I mean, yeah. he definitely made me realize like that there were some really weird and interesting Hulk stories that were told that I totally missed, and like uh, he made me want to even go back and and like look for some of the stuff, like you said, like pulling him out of dollar bins more and stuff like that. Instead of just kind of passing, passing them, you know, through them, like it's it's gonna make me pick up more hope. Yeah, I'm at the point now though where I need to like make a list of what I have because I used to have like such minimal stuff. Like I didn't have anything prior to the 2000s really, except maybe like a couple, maybe Dale Keown issues, maybe, and like that's like the, a big maybe. 
But now that I have so much of like the 90s stuff, maybe late 80s, even a few, a couple 70s issues, like now I need to like make a list so that I don't double dip. But it's definitely something that like when I go, that's going to be something I look for is going to be Hulk stuff. This is another dope page. The way he's, it looks he like he's ripping out of, out of the page into this panel. Yeah. I love panel breaks like that. Oh, dude, same here. And then again, look, see the like this is the the white background, and then this is back to like the kind of like off white newsprint, newsprint type coloring. Yeah, and that I little like, image with the silhouette in the yeah. middle, the white silhouette. That's one of my favorite images too in the whole in the whole book. I love that. Yeah. Well, that that's also the cover to like uh, what issue is it? It's in the three hundreds. It's when yeah. um It's when Smart Hulk comes yes. into play, right? Yeah. So I like that he u- he uses that a few times throughout the book. He uses it here, yeah. like well before it even existed, and uh, and then into like the the new stuff. And then, you know, seeing this, like th- he's gonna get Medi- married to Betty, and then that doesn't happen, and that's the, their tumultuous relationship from the very beginning, you know. And I didn't know about this Jarella. I didn't know Hulk was in some like yeah my, my- microscopic universe and had this person that he was in love with and she's somebody that comes into play a couple times throughout his history. Like that was something new to me that I I had no idea. I had no idea either. But see, like, this is what I was talking about in terms of like just speeding up to get forward. Like Hulk fights absorbing it. Hulk fights Avengers. Right. They separate Hulk and Banner. Hulk makes a friend. Hulk fights Um, Iron Man. Hulk and Banner reunited. Hulk fights. Like just like, Panel, Hulk panel, fights panel. UFOs, aliens, abomination, and Captain Cyborg. Yeah, so that's like three issues, right? Like that he's just completely. Oh, dude, I feel like it's probably more. I mean, he just he just moves yeah. like a year of Hulk in like a page. Oh no, I meant just that one that oh. one panel. The UFO. oh yeah yeah, he's doing multiple issues in a panel sometimes. Yeah, and but it, he... it's so awesome because like he's created this pace and like you're just going with it, you know, and and it's mm-hmm. working. Yeah, and then like this fight, you know, uh, Doc Samson, like learning how that, like I kind of knew like the origin but yeah, again he like was someone i was always so confused about and this helped me figure him out like yeah i always saw him in stories and knew that he was strong and stuff too but like i never really knew his his origin or or how he entered the picture he was just always just there for me and that and it was cool to see that i love the dr doom at the top of this of yeah this dude. page yeah like and showing then, up his arms uh-huh i like the close-up here this one's really dope yeah too yeah and then I love how this is how he shows that Hulk joins the Defenders. It's it's that little like advertisement type thing that you would see in the comics. You know, the day of the Defenders is here in Marvel feature number one on sale now. Like that's that's the introduction of him joining the Defenders. That's awesome. This I love the Rolling Stone, dude. Dude, I know it's like he's breaking the fourth wall here. Because yeah. he's making it within the comic book universe, but it's the cover of Rolling Stone. I even looked this up. When I when he was talking about it, and it's like ridiculous how much an old issue of Rolling Stone is just because of Hulk being on the cover. I like the Japanese here, the yeah, this the too, like the the Hulk on trial and just like the newspaper cutouts that that are pasted. Yeah, up. all that hand lettering. Yeah, he doesn't cut any corners here, dude. Like this is it's something else, man, for sure. Again with Jarella. Uh, one of my favorite pages is my one of my favorite two pages are coming up next. Oh, the, oh yeah, boom! Oh yeah, that left page is amazing, dude. Oh, it, it is one of the best. It's just the lettering and then Hulk all red, all rageful. Yeah, dude, it's just the whole page is uh, mm-hmm. probably one of the best examples of lettering in the whole book because there's so many different types. Had to do the Marvel stamp too, like that. You only yeah. know that that's one of the Marvel stamps if you're like. A true fucking comic book head, you know, like you, yeah. you wouldn't even get like, what is the point of this? Why is it a stamp? But it does that? But then this right page is the, this is the this page has so much energy too. The left page, oh yeah, the right page is I, I love Jim's ballpoint pen drawings. I know I want another notebook, uh, sketchbook thing yeah. that he did years ago. Like I have one of them. I have the volume two. I don't have the volume one, but I love like when he does these covers. Like I always pick them up, even yeah, if I'm not getting them, the book. He does these with like those really cool pens that have like four colors on them. Yeah. That you click. Like I 
I remember playing with those and drawing with those as a kid, and they were always my favorite pen. So, like, I yeah, I remember those. Yeah, it's amazing. I, I mean, just the fact that he does that with a with a pen, you know, like, and that's he just starts straight pen. I don't believe there's any pencils at all involved in this. Uh, but there's no yellow in that. Is so he's doing something for the yellow. But I don't know what he's doing for that for that part, like a highlighter. I don't know. I'm kind of curious what the yellow is because I know it's just blue and red. And black, right? Those pens. Well, there, there, there's a different versions of that pen that do have more colors. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. The yellow just doesn't look like pen, though. You're right. It does not, not because it doesn't. It doesn't have those strokes that the other thing. Yeah. Do. But yeah, this is like one of the best pages in the book, and just completely show like these two showcase so so much of of his different skills. You know, just in this. Love yeah, this, this next show. page is great too with the uh the almost like punk rock flyer style of the rampaging Hulk image at the very bottom of the left page. And then this too, like with him coming on the right page when he's like coming out of it, right? He's like in some cave. And that's also him naming three different battles he just did. So there was no banner, but he fought Absorbing Man, Constrictor, and By Beast. And he's just so he's like, what the fuck? You know, coming out of it. I like this one too. Uh, showing the yeah. the Hulk TV show, dude. It's I, what a what a beautiful. That's like a poster right there on the left. You know, like it, oh, it yeah. needs to be a poster. Oh, this is another good uh, double page here. I love this. I love this battle with uh, Daredevil. Yeah, that's that whole page is awesome too. And then again, another cover recreation with uh, Iron Man one thirty one. Yeah, and the and the way he draws Iron Man, you have it, him close up. In the background, and then in the foreground, he's he's smashing into Hulk. That's very That's, manga esque. It's just so dope, dude. Yeah, dude. And then you got She Hulk too, like on the right side. Another, I mean, the next image is amazing too. Like the the, the big the big uh, splash oh, yeah. page on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Going I wonder how long it white. took him to do this page. Dude, yeah, I mean, just glitter. yeah. And then you got the next page with the black and white going to the psychedelic image again. Very, very, very awesome, like, pacing he's creating with, like, juxtaposing, like, a different style from page to page. Well, this is cool because it looks like a newspaper strip on the top, yeah. right? And then you go here, and it's, like, such a stark contrast. Yeah, it, it's almost like a like a psychedelic poster that you would yeah. buy, like, in the 60s or 70s. I love, and I know you just have Rocket Raccoon, and I like how he describes them as killer clowns, and then the little asterisk gets cyborg assassins. This is creepy too. This bottom, uh, the bottom right panel. So you have everything oh. up here looks like old newsprint. It's kind of faded looking, but then you have the one panel at the bottom that's super bright, and you have this like super menacing Hulk who ha doesn't have he doesn't have banners or he has banners mind. It says. So he's finally in control, and then you have this yeah. the opposite side, where like now he's being uh, he's being uh, given amnesty for all the Hulk's past crimes. But as you know, and anybody that knows Hulk, that ain't gonna last, and it never does. It's kind of like almost Spider Man esque, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you know, like where the luck, Peter's luck is always shit. Well, Hulk always kind of gets the short end of the stick too. I love this too. Look at this. Under Banner's control, Hulk is a popular superhero and stars in a Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> so he works the cartoon in there, you know? Yeah. Fucking Modoc. Always love seeing Modoc. Yeah. Ms. Modoc? Like, was that a thing? Like, I I've never seen I, this. I would not. I mean, I would yeah. it 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 tra you know what I mean? It tracks with the with with the Silver Age. Yeah, that's true. That ne this next explosion is awesome. That page with the with the black and then like the words sort of like coming down and the Hulk holding everybody up. Because I I also remember that Secret Wars, <laughs> like that set that one cover. Oh, is this what that is? Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah, this whole this whole page is Secret Wars. Yeah, I just don't remember. Like I've read Secret Wars, but yeah. it's been a while, so I, I didn't remember this particular. It's page. cool that he was able to do it in one page. You know. Yeah. I love the next one. The one on the right, yeah, dude, that, yeah, yeah. That, that there's something Sam Keith ish about that one on the left too, like that big splash page. The one on the right, I'm sorry. Yeah, the right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's something Sam Keith ish in 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 the drawing there. The transformation at the bottom yeah. is great. Yeah, I love this whole battle with uh, oh, well, the page on the right with all the let like all that shit. That shit is one of my favorites, right there. Oh, like I know, all the dude. mast heads, 
all the coming next issue. Yeah. Because this is all him recreating this, you know? I feel like this was also his way to incorporate all of that, this half of the Hulk run of like who he fought. Like that's kind of what yeah. I took it as. This is the stuff that he didn't necessarily talk about or cover. And then all of this, right? Like a battle with Submariner, the awesome abomination. I'm assuming, maybe I'm wrong, but like even Kazar, right? Like that wasn't mentioned yeah. in there. So I'm I'm assuming this is the stuff that we didn't see. The same but yeah, man. it's really awesome that he was able to get all these. Because this looks like this was scanned. These weren't these weren't recreated. You think they were scanned? Yeah, I guess you're right. They probably were scanned. Because you can kind of tell, like on the in the middle, kind of this where it says next the macabre. I mean, I, I, you know, I haven't read the notes. Maybe it is back there. This too, dude. The the letters pages, and then I I mean I didn't read every single one, but just the names that wrote into them, like Ralph Macchio, Kurt Busiek, Fred Hembeck, Bill Mantlo. Yeah, it's all classic names. It's just, it's such a trip to see like these people as fans. Cause I, I've seen the, I've seen like creators' names before, like Mary Jo Duffy, right, is in there. So that's pretty cool that he did that. And then we get the covers again where we left off. I think this is 213 at the top. And then it goes all the way to uh, 280 on the bottom right here. Oh, that we got the Jeff Darrow cover. I really love this cover too. Yeah. I like this though. I like the different corner boxes and the different versions of Hulk from this era. Yeah, I, I'm this... a huge corner box person, and like I, I love that he drew like all these iconic Hulk corner boxes right here, yeah. like that Marvel 25th anniversary with the great. I mean that that's ingrained in my mind. I saw yeah. that so much. This is my favorite logo though. The Marvel the 90s comics. one, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I, I mean, I, I think you said it the other day when we were talking, like that logo and the DC Bullet is. Those are the logos that should exist. I don't know why they ever changed it. I think they're just to me they're actually the DC, DC bullet. Yeah, iconic. yeah. I love the Ed McGinnis cover too. Oh, same dude, same. Yeah, it's really good. This is another dope page. And again, see, he always goes back to like this silhouette. It's so effective, man. Yeah, it really is. Love, I love him jumping out of the out of the corner, like he's coming in from like. Out of nowhere, out of the, out of the, yeah, yeah, and that those speed lines are really effective. Yeah. See, I didn't even know about this too, like the the banner and Betty wedding, and then um, Thunderbolt Ross comes in and and tries to can shoot Bruce, and Rick Jones jumps in front. Like I, yeah, I, I never I even knew about I that. Know that, yeah. I love this lineup of the Avengers too, with like Wonder Man and Hercules. Yeah, this the is the, this is eighty stuff. This is stuff I didn't really read. From Avengers, yeah, like I, I, I was pulling some at Spinner Racks at that point, but I was really young, so like it was hard to put that comic shops really weren't a thing, so it was hard to have any kind of like consistency in what you were buying. But like I do remember buying issues of the Avengers with like Iron Man in that suit. Yeah, and this is like when Bruce and Hulk are separate, and they, and like Bruce is dying, yeah. he needs to be back. Like that's what I was talking about earlier, where like they need each other to live. And I like the again fucking newspaper strip has a really cool effect in, in between like the battles with the Avengers and stuff and then putting them back together. I thought this was kind of weird looking too, where like he's kind of going in and out of the Hulk's body. That was a kind of a cool effect. I thought, and now he's gray Hulk again too, right? Yeah. Or that's after, yes. but that's after Rick Jones becomes Hulk briefly. And then Hulk turns himself into the Hulk again. I really do like gray Hulk. So do I. These pages. Dude, are that dope. cover, bro. I know. Look at that. Look at the fucking hair on he's like recreating on like, Wolver it's like his version of McFarlane. But again, there, there's something in the hair there that's very Sam Keithish. I yeah yeah yeah. I, I definitely felt that too. But like, I love how he put two covers, especially the one. Image. Yeah, because those are two whole, uh, McFarlane covers right there. And then looking yeah. at like like his version of the leader here, based on McFarlane's yes. era, is so different than what we saw in the beginning. And yes, this fucker looks creepy as silly. shit. Yeah, dude, like the the mouth is amazing. Like, yeah, I love this page. This is this is one of my favorites too. Yep. There we I, go. That bottom that bottom to me seems like a homage to Akira, like the explosion scene right? in Akira when Neil T when Neil Tokyo explodes in the beginning. I like the Mister Fix It page too. That was another really dope page. Oh yeah. 
and just like the the Texas, you know, it's just, it, it's got a different vibe to it. This, yeah, this the whole page after you turn is really good too, which uh, with him fighting um, absorbing man up there, fighting Snapping thing, up. Hulk and thing are always good to see fighting. Oh yeah, this is when he's getting fired. And he starts losing his shit. You see that? Like I love yeah. the the red in his eyes. One of my favorite images is coming up there on the, yeah, the Sam. You know what I'm that talking Sam about, Keith. Sam Keith. Yes. Now that for sure is I I remember this is one of the issues I got when I went in my on my Hulk binge. And then I love like some people think this this is the pit, but it, I I don't know why somebody thought. I mean I guess kind of, but like that's just a dark version of Hulk that Del yeah. drew during his uh his uh run. I love that dude, just black and white. Yeah, dude, it's amazing. And again, we got uh, this one right here, dude. The way you see the skin come off, yeah, yeah, it's a it's a pretty it's it, a it emphasizes like the body horror aspect of the Hulk too, you know. Mm -hmm. And then this is that image I was talking about from that cover when he becomes Smart Hulk, and then this is the way he's depicting, uh, you know, all of, like the Joe Fix It personality, the Hulk personality, the Banner personality, all coming together, and he recreates this panel like flawlessly because I remember I this. Mean, this is. You, you, it's interesting how he starts switching into a, like a Dale K K one ish, K one ish kind of art style, you know. Mm -hmm. And then this is all that. Now pantheon, we're entering. So. Now we're entering the pantheon era. Yeah. Yeah. This is all the stuff I have. So I have all these issues. Yeah, yeah, with like Agamemnon and like. Yeah, like this, I have like basically complete. Like I was, I was, I bought every issue. If I was getting a collection on eBay and they didn't have one, I filled it in. And I love, like, you know, you got Infinity Gauntlet. He even throws in the X Factor cover when Larry Dude, um, Strowman. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's fucking amazing. That's like that's one of my favorite covers, too, of that era. Yeah. So while the actual issues didn't really blow me away, he does this in a good way to where it doesn't seem... He makes it more interesting in his pages of, of that era. Because, like, yeah, was that top some... image with the what is amazing. Again, fantastic oh, yeah. lettering. It's got to be one of the best lettered comics I've ever seen. Yeah, if this isn't nominated for an Eisner, dude, I... Yeah. At it's least... Just on the design it, alone. Yeah, just on the design alone, it should be. And then we got the feature in Perfect up top. This is this is something I was really happy he incorporated. When Liam Sharp was uh, drawing Hulk for a little bit, uh, and they and they kind of riffed off Savage Dragon. Yeah, he had the, the hat on. <laughs> or the fake, yeah. Oh, this page is really dope, too. Yeah. So this is, I don't have these issues, like, moving forward. I think I stopped at right at some of the Liam Sharps. So Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have those either. And I love Liam Sharp. I need to go back and, and check that stuff out. But this one, too, like, again, coming out of the, from the panel, jumping in. Like, yeah. the effect that There's it has that. is so yeah. good, yeah. Just, like, the weight of the Hulk. He, he's really good at capturing the Hulk as, like, this heavy, like, thudding presence. And this is called like the risograph, right? Like effect is that that's what this yeah, is? Rizzo, the right? Rizzo, yeah, yeah. It's like a, a a weird offset printing kind of yeah, technique. This is fucking amazing, dude. I love this. Cause you can see sort of like the tones, you know, like in the back of the panel. This is it's like what the this explosion, the pink page is sort of what he was uh doing with the colors in like the latest like plain James edition, which has like like this kind of look to it with the pages like having like kind of one color tone yeah depending on the set thing dude how about this onslaught page bro i mean i love his cable first of all like i love cable huge like cable nerd and like i just love that that little image of cable there it's just perfect yeah and i also know the image he's referencing yeah that i don't know i don't know the image he's referencing and dude the, the on the bottom right there that hulk like that shit is awesome I'd get like that, that poster. Red. I'd buy this poster or print. Fuck yeah, I would. I mean, yeah, there's a there's a lot of in here that I would make a print of. I love look yeah, at, I love this too, where it ends right here with the Marvel Heroes gone after awesome. Like this page too is really awesome. Like the bottom part with Watcher, how it's yes. just so minimal, the drawing. And then the, the the top, I love that too. Yeah. The heroes reborn, reborn. I love that he includes like the images there. Like those are scanned. 
The, the yeah, yeah, the, yeah, camp, for yeah. sure. I, th- yeah, I know for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I know. I know you, but I'm just saying for anybody watching, like those, like maybe you can't yeah. see it as well, but those are definitely like scans. I love this blue page too. Yeah, that uh, Rick Jones hitting the wall there is really great image. Like the way the crack is, the speed lines. Then you think he's gonna have a happy ending? No, that doesn't happen. Betty dies from r- radiation poisoning. I like this. So like this is this is where he kind of ends his run right like of what yeah. he's talking about because it, like he says the issues it's incredible hulk one through six 102 through 474 and tales to astonish 60 to 101 that's kind of what uh, i love this image of like banner walking away and like the yeah. shadow of the hulk behind him and then the epilogue is where he kind of talks about planet hulk very quickly but that was another like, hulk. that was another hulk uh storyline that i really liked this page though the double page with world war hulk yeah or yeah Holy shit. And then he kind of talks about Red Hulk, Red She Hulk, you know, very briefly. And then he doesn't actually say Hulk 2099. But yeah, but yeah. But you know who it is. I mean, if you read comics, you know who it is. And then you've got the Maestro. Yeah, this is another fair way. And then obviously we got more letters pages. Yeah, I love that he included that. And And I like this too. I don't know if you like really noticed that, like the. From 68 to 98, the sales numbers, and just oh, watching yeah. them fluctuate, I thought that was an interesting choice to kind of throw in there. Yeah. You can kind of see like what comics were selling in 68 all the way to 98, and what a huge difference it is, uh, like almost 300,000 copies less being printed. And then obviously, and then here we go, we get the some more of the whole covers. Yeah, I love seeing all the covers. And then even we say this, him. when he was six years old, the Hulk was his hero. He was the strongest. Yeah. His dream project at Marvel is to make the greatest Hulk comic of all time. That's his. That's how his proposal started, you know? Another ballpoint pen drawing. Yeah, love that one. I love this here. Yeah, this, so this stuff is from, it's from the second issue of uh, Foom. So that's what these are. So this is where the stuff is, like, where it's not him drawing. These are just, like, you know him yeah re- presenting scanned. them to us it's like you can see the pages like the edge that he just like scanned this in which is pretty cool yeah. and then sabu sabu shima man that's one of my favorites yeah i like this too the the pinup drawn by yes. all the different uh marvel artists and then the many faces of the hulk also drawn by different artists that was pretty yeah awesome. the, these are the many the many the many faces of is from uh, marvel age magazine yeah, like the they used to always include them in every and in, in, not in every issue, but in a lot of them. And it was it was just they'd pick a character and do this, you know. I remember mm-hmm. those very fondly. And then this story too, which is kind of cool. From what the number five, this man, that monster, that monster, yeah, this parody. man, yeah, this is uh by Eric Larson, dude. Yeah, dude. I did. I had no idea this thing existed. Like I yeah, want to get the real thing. Now. Yeah, so do I. I didn't know this existed. So that's pretty cool that he did that. And then obviously you have the rest of his covers. This is the cover yeah. to that, uh, the Fireside book. Yes. Love that cover. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Then, then we got, got, we have like, dude, like that Fantastic Four cover with by Arthur Adams. I have yeah. that framed on my wall, like to my right, over my right shoulder here. Like that's one of my favorite covers of all time. Yeah, it's a dope cover. I mean, I have the issues too. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And I love the corner box art and that, you know. Yeah. Just, I love the covers that he picked. Because he could have picked different ones, you know, like maybe. Yeah. like You got like John Bushima on the left. Or even like the McFarlane one that he recreated. He could have done yeah. that, but he didn't. I love that he chose an amazing Spider-Man by McFarlane fighting yeah. Hulk. But what a great cover, too, though. Yeah. Daredevil cover, Defenders. This is He's one of the really issues I picked up. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 page on the on the uh, on the right, uh-huh. that corner box heart, that's my favorite ever. Like you said, that logo with the corner box heart is my favorite era. Yeah, I agree. Then we got the Richard Corbin. Cover. Yeah, dude, that's a dope one too. And then the again, okay, these are the rest of the whole covers. Yeah, I thought, I thought the other one was, but no, this is the other stuff that he used. Interesting. I think these are like the Hulk magazine ones that were coming out. At the bottom, yeah. Yeah. And then obviously he thanks every single artist and writer that had a hand in creating 
the Hulk, which I thought was a nice touch too. And much yeah. like Ed did and, and Shioli did as well. It's interesting the names that you see in here, you know, that you, you're like, wow, dude, I didn't even know this person worked on the Hulk. Yeah. I mean, dude, yeah, there's a lot of people that I didn't that I didn't know. Like I didn't know that uh John Byrne did a little bit. It'd be Frank Miller. But Frank yeah. Miller probably that's more from like, you know, Daredevil or something, but yeah, yeah I, I think it's just any, I think it's what it is. Any artist that had a, a a Hulk that he like found striking or something, you know, it didn't necessarily have to be in the Hulk magazine because because he did pull like moments from other books that just had the Hulk in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this book, dude, is just phenomenal. If you haven't, dude, it's it's next level, dude. It's totally it's totally worth the thirty four ninety nine that it costs. You know, like it's beautiful looking. It's gonna look great on the shelf with all the other beautiful like grand design books so if but you have Jim, go pick it up totally like, outdid himself on this one yeah. you know i can't and i'm just like all it did was make me excited to see what jim's working on next but this book is uh is a labor of love it's it really emulates what the whole grand design thing really is all about and if you're on the fence like even if you have the single issues you already you read those you got to get this version this is the ultimate version of the book yeah I, this is worth a double dip and if they were to release like a bigger artist edition or something it'd be worth a triple dip you know like oh, yeah so go pick it up and after you after you pick it up make sure you, or actually hold on and before you pick it up make sure you follow us on all social media manny's links are down below uh follow comic lounge as well hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you're notified every time a new vid goes up and on that note we're out Hold smash, guys.